2020 saw a record number of billion dollar disasters. 2021 kept pace, including 11 severe weather events that totaled over a billion dollars in damage each. March 24th and 25th, the second high risk from the Storm Prediction Center in a week. At least 41 tornadoes touched down across several states, the strongest tracking across central Alabama into western Georgia, including six fatalities in Calhoun County. Just a few days later, another two dozen confirmed tornadoes from Texas to Tennessee. On March 27th and 28th, severe weather producing hail and high winds impacted the south through the mid-Atlantic. In mid-April, a series of hailstorms impacted central Texas, bringing up to grapefruit-sized hail to the Austin metro area. At the end of the month, another round of severe storms and localized flooding struck the Lone Star and Sooner states. Hail was once again the main culprit near San Antonio and Fort Worth. From May 2nd to the 4th, more than 111 confirmed tornadoes from reports in 18 states. The South and Southeast took on damage from all modes of severe, including a tornado emergency in Tupelo, Mississippi. In June, back-to-back -back weeks of severe targeted the central U.S. A damaging hailstorm and high wind event stretched from the upper Midwest to the Ohio Valley on the 17th and 18th. Then again, from June 24th to the 26th, severe storms damage homes, businesses, vehicles, and agriculture, including an EF2 in Port Austin, Michigan, that injured six people. July brought a similar feel to the central U.S. with three days of destructive storms from the high plains to the southern plains. Significant hail was accompanied by widespread wind reports. The Great Lakes took a turn in August. This multi-day event from the 10th to the 13th caused around a thousand wind reports, including injuries in multiple states from trees falling on cars. December proved that secondary severe season events can be just as dangerous. Overnight, December 10th into the 11th, more than 80 people lost their lives as tornadoes touched down in eight states, including an EF4 in Mayfield, Kentucky, with winds in excess of 190 miles per hour. Less than a week later, the first derecho ever in the U.S. during the month of December. the most significant wind gusts in a single day since at least 2004, with 12 confirmed EF2 tornadoes. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Carissa Claus.